Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. So often you will hear liberals ask, what can they do to help? What can they do to help in the cause of social justice? What can they do to fight racism in society? And back in the day when Malcolm was in the nation, he told this one white woman that she could do nothing to help the movement. And later on, he would change his views, of course. But for this video, I'm just going to respond to that basic question. What can you do? You can kill yourself. That's what you can do. And before, <laughs> before people take that the wrong way, let me explain what I mean. You have to kill the concept of whiteness. You have to kill the cracker within you. And what I mean by that, you have to kill this notion that your whiteness is somehow a badge of superiority. You have to kill this notion that the world revolves around whiteness. You have to kill this notion of racial superiority. And a lot of people have that notion even though they profess to be liberals. You have to kill that notion and embrace your humanity and embrace the humanity of others. That's what has to happen. You know, because this society teaches you to celebrate the colonialists, to celebrate the slave masters. And in order to really be of help to humanity, you have to kill those concepts. You have to kill the concept that colonialism was a good thing or that slavery was beneficial to humanity. You have to kill this notion of imperialism. You have to kill this notion of phony patriotism and embrace humanity as a whole. And unfortunately, a lot of quote unquote liberals, they only do that halfway. They only do it to an extent. You know, we're taught to celebrate these people that enslaved us, you know, these founding fathers and stuff like that, instead of, instead of telling the truth about them and what they represent. So you have to kill all that. You have to kill these notions of superiority that you have. Because even when you want to help uh, black organizations or black people, often you bring that privilege with you. Often you bring that white arrogance with you. Often you bring that whiteness with you. So even as you are helping, you are patronizing. Even as you are trying to benefit people, you are trying to control their organizations. You're trying to dictate how things go and how what's the agenda and all that kind of stuff. That is the whiteness within you. And you got to kill that if you want to be a part of the movement. If you truly want to be a benefit to the black community, you have to kill yourself and re be reborn and be reborn as a human being and embrace your fellow human beings. So, you know, I just had that thought on my mind, man. Tell me what y'all think. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace.